Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. We missed you all the way from North Carolina. As you can recall on the last set of vlogs, I was in New York City, had a blast with family and friends, ate way too much. But then again, I did a lot of walking, hung out with mom in New York City. I hope you had a chance to watch our vlogs and caught up. And by the way, for those that have been watching us for a while and haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I know you enjoy all the family and all the food and all the love <laughs> and positivity. Anyway, New York was a blast. <laughs> and I can't believe I'm going home. I already miss you, Nana and Bashir. I'll be home in about an hour and a half. So I went through security really quickly and all of that because my husband decided to surprise me and upgrade me to first class. Hello! Not something I do normally, but uh, yeah, it's all good. And it was definitely a trip that was very much worth it. It was great to see family, it was great to see and make new friends and eat so much food in New York. I can't wait to be back. As you can tell, I don't even have to walk, walk fast because I am on time. <laughs> Wear a uniform, taxi is Oh, okay, this is gate B22 in front of me. I have to go to gate B49, so that's a good walk. A good walk. Uh, B26, why do I feel like I've been walking for a while already? <laughs> All right, we haven't even gotten to the 30s, and we got to get to B49. Keep going, Habiba. Keep going. Made it to gate 49. So I'm gonna go get a snack before I get on the plane. Sometimes I forget how expensive airport food is. Um, I got this healthy sandwich. This is avocado and turkey. And I'm very happy that I didn't go for the burger that I was thinking of getting, so I decided to go healthy. But anyway, this little sandwich um, and the bottle of water was literally $20. So it's toasted and it has um, avocado, like I said, and mayo, and it's pretty tasty. Hold. Lift the top of the buckle. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. So even though it was a short domestic flight from New York to uh, North Carolina, I kind of appreciated that first class service and the extra leg room, the bottled water, the free snacks. Uh, well, nothing's free, but the extra snacks that I didn't have to ask for. It was nice, not bad Delta Airlines, not bad. As you know, I love to fly. I love an excuse to travel anywhere. And uh, I love a good takeoff. I just love peering out the window and looking at how small, you know, how small we all are in this universe. And yet how amazing technology is, how we can take this big, heavy bird-like structure and raise it in the air, fly above the ground. Like, it still amazes me. No matter how many times I do it, I am still amazed by how we can fly above the earth. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, please find me and follow me. I would love us to be friends. In the future, I'll probably have some promotions and and, uh, new things coming up and I'll probably promote them on Instagram okay so what are you drinking when you're on your flight all I was having was some Sprite and oh the waitress not waitress we call them the stewardess came by with the snacks and I got me some Oreos and some almonds I thought the almonds were kind of healthy to counteract the fact that I was eating Oreos but you know I love miniatures. I love anything small and cute, just like I love my dolls. So I love little miniature foods and the cute little Oreos cute. Ladies and gentlemen, we probably after you pull up those seats in preparation for landing. Again, please go ahead and pull up your okay, seats in preparation Okay, so we're for heading into North Carolina. 
Isn't she beautiful? Kenton couldn't wait to see me. I couldn't wait to see him. And we are home. Home sweet home in North Carolina. And that was a nice landing. Back together. Home sweet home. Look, there's a butterfly out there. This morning I saw some, um, uh, what is it, a hummingbird. Can you see? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, they seem to love those flowers. All right, honey boo boo. Doing our usual go out looking for stuff. Well, actually, we're no, we're pretty busy trying to finish setting up the house. Uh, plants survived. See, they're still here. Got them some new baskets. This basket here with this pom pom actually came from Ross. Um, and so did this one. This one we've always had. Oh, look at this new find. Isn't that nice? This is called mango wood. And it's, I'm using it as a side table here in the living room. It's so pretty. Kenton and I both like it. So it's not pine, it's not cherry wood, it's this exotic mango wood to go with our, I don't know, modern, bohemian, New York look. Here's Mr. Man. Come on, I thought we were going out. No. We're going. We still have to hang up that picture of the New York skyline before the World Trade Center. Your catastrophe happened. I don't even know if catastrophe is the right word. Worse than that it was. Right? What would be the right word to describe that event? Terrorism. Yeah. catastrophic event that forever changed our lives. His knee is still bothering him from this whole move. Um, he's still got a little bit of a limp, limp slash waddle. So we just got back from Trader Joe's. What did we get? Some mangoes. Oh, let me get rid of these old bananas. We can find some other use for them. Oh, and that plantain. All right, so we got some mangoes, some arugula. Been craving the arugula salad like we had in New York or like I had in New York with the walnuts and instead of Parmesan cheese, some goat cheese. Um, that's what we got and I got some fresh flowers because the place could use some fresh flowers. There's nothing like fresh flowers. Not just to welcome guests, because I'm not expecting any guests, but to welcome me. Whenever you wake up in the morning, it's just nice to walk down and see fresh flowers in a vase. It just makes, starts my day off well. All right, we got some ganoche. Is that how you say it, Ken? Ganoche? How do you say it? Ganoche? Ganoche. It's made, it's Italian. It's made with potatoes. I really wanted to try it. Um... And these I liked the last time I was in South Carolina I was eating this all the time the one the version I was eating wasn't from Trader Joe's but they're really good crunchy crispy and good for you okra and here's our walnuts for the salad with the arugula hey let me show you the crunch let's see these aren't as big as the ones I ate before Mm. Don't mind me. I'm looking a little plain Jane today. <laughs> Chores day today. I have to go and upload a video. Not that I'm procrastinating, but I just feel like there's so much to do that I haven't sat down to finish pro uh, editing the video, but I'm going to. I promise I'm going to do it right now. Mm.
right. I think I like how it came out. I kind of put the yellow roses at a lower tier and then gave the vase some height with the purple flowers. Okay, and filled it in with the white flowers. So let's go put it on the coffee table. Makes a nice, fresh welcome. All right, so it's clearly cost effective to buy fake flowers like the silk flowers. You can get that nowadays. And um, this costs me altogether about $13. And in a few days or about a week, it might wait last a week and a half, they'll be dead and I'll need to replace them. So to some that might seem like a waste of money, but I think there's nothing more magical than fresh flowers. And you see one of the roses broke off. That's always inevitable. So I'm going to put it here on this window ledge in this little um, vintage glass. It's actually a, a, a little glass that could be used for uh, I think an aperitif or something or dessert I'm not sure but it's super cute and a very small and perfect for it and my orchid is still doing amazing after almost three months um, and you've seen the herbs I watered them today I have some basil and some mint I haven't vlogged in a minute. <laughs> good morning or good afternoon. It is Saturday and I just wanted to share with you a happy Saturday. Stop and count your blessings, what you're grateful for. I am grateful to be alive, to be happy, to see my children, to hug my husband, to not be on a plane, <laughs> to not be on a plane or a, or a bus or a car or some long distance trip. You know, be careful what you pray for. I was always thinking, oh, as soon as I'm done with work, I want to be on some trip. I want to go somewhere. Well, after the last two months of nonstop traveling and moving and all of that i'm just happy to be home so let's show you what we're eating my lovely husband right kenton you made it you made lunch right yeah. boo, boo yeah he did all right let's show you what we have here so we got this noodle dish it's got eggplant and peppers the kids have already eaten oh kareem made that and then over here, we got this chicken, which looks really good. Uh, it looked at first to me like it was burnt, but it's not burnt. It's actually not burnt. It's this Thai inspired. It says barbecue and basting sauce. Okay, so I decided to make a salad. This has been my sal go-to salad, arugula, goat cheese, lots of nuts and dried cranberries and goat cheese and raspberry vinaigrette. A little bit of salad. I want to go out in town and see, actually, what do I need? Um, I need still a shoe rack. Like I have my closet pretty much 90% done, but I still need to put my shoes up. Um, and I'm always looking for an excuse to go out. <laughs> so love my space so far, but it's always nice to go out. So Kenton and I have been out all day. I've actually been sort of vlogging on Insta stories. So follow me there on Instagram because on the weekends, I'm always posting content. But anyway, totally forgot to pick up this vlogging camera and just realized we are in um, Big Lot. And the thing about Big Lot is this is not the place to come when you are hungry. So it's getting to be that dangerous hour where I start looking at things like 
cookies, things I shouldn't be looking at. So I'm telling Kenton we need to hurry up and leave before we pick up things that we will, our bodies regret later. So anyway, let's go. I'm actually, I can't believe I'm walking away. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll take a Snapple. I'm super thirsty. Plastic now. Yeah, it's plastic. It used to be bottle and the bottles used to be bigger. When I used to live in New York, I used to constantly drink Snapple. Yeah, it's not even cold. We got a hummingbird feeder and some storage for, you know, under the sink, which will come in handy for the kids. It is getting dark because we have been out for at least, have we been out four hours, Kenton? No, we left about four, didn't we? No, three hours, about three and a half hours. So this is your typical kind of strip mall in the US, or at least in these parts of the US. What I like is if you look behind me, you will see there is Chinese, there is an African, there is a Jamaican, and we've been to all of those stores. The Jamaican restaurant, um, the African grocery, the Chinese place I haven't actually been in now. Nah, I don't go into Chinese restaurants that I don't know. Um, but there's the big lots. <laughs> so yeah, it's getting dark. Darkish. Where's the hubby? Where'd he disappear? He went to take the shopping cart. Does anybody see an Asian man that might have gotten abducted? <laughs> No, there he is. <laughs> uh, honey, I'm sitting here making fun, making jokes. We're in Durham and we're in an area, this other mall where we've got Thai food, Indian food, straight ahead there's dim sum, Asian bistro. So I'm not sure what we're going to be eating or where Kenton is planning to take us but we're up for anything because we are hungry right honey yeah he's hungry hangry <laughs> he wants to eat so it's got this courtyard feel in this area we're heading towards the dim sum maybe or should we be going into the burn boot camp I think <laughs> more like Whatever you feel like, honey. I'll eat. I'm adventurous. I'll eat whatever you want. All right, what do we recognize here? Shrimp dumplings, pork dumplings, short ribs. I'm gonna let Kenton order for me. I ordered some tea, hot tea, and Kenton got some soy milk. Kenton's picking out the dim sum, and I'm gonna get myself some hot tea. It's got the tea leaves in there. Yeah, so it's original, fresh tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be nice, honey. You do the commentary on the vlogs from now on. Wouldn't you guys like to hear Kenton's version of what's happening in our life? Yeah, that would be fun. You no. vlog. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it would. I think it would be funny. You vlog. So that's chili sauce and that's duck sauce, right? Mm -hmm. This one's got meat in it. Mm -hmm. Barbecue. And what's this one? It's a uh, shrimp. Oh, okay. Up, up pastry with shrimp. Is it good? <laughs> what's this? Good? I'm just gonna try the meat in the sauce. Yeah. 
All right, shrimp dumplings and barbecue. That pepper will hit you. <laughs> going for a second. <laughs> All right, let me eat my shrimp dumpling. ordered some pot stickers as well but I don't know what's in them interesting yeah. I'm about to eat this barbecue dumpling it's nice and fluffy on the outside you want to see what it looks like on the inside it's got meat in it not bad not bad we obviously did not try everything on the menu, but I would give it about um, 7.5 to 8 out of 10. <laughs> not that my opinion matters, but I'm just saying. It was good. Ken thinks it was better, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, compared to what they have on Franklin Street, it's has no more variety. Uh, okay. And of course, Franklin Street, as you guys know, is in Chapel Hill, and we are in Durham. So for what we ordered, or what you saw, let me see how many little plates. One, two, three, four. And the tea and the soy milk, um, right? That was about $30. So not too bad. Not cheap, but not expensive either. Mm. Look at this little girl, she's so sweet. Oh, no. You should. My mom say I No, you can't tell your mom the customer gave you a tip. That's fine. Because you do good. You have to take a tip. Is that, is that your sister? Yeah, that's my sister. Did she take a tip? Oh, my mom never let other people take a tip, sorry. She can't take a tip? No. But if I put a tip in here, it doesn't go for your sister? Yeah. She got us some, um, you said this is mango pudding? Yes. Mango pudding, okay, thank you. Did she take a tip? <laughs> uh, no, not me and not him. Why not? Because you're not employees? For your mom. <laughs> okay, it's for your mom, that's fine, it's for your mom. Interesting. Has it got mango? Yeah, it's oh, a yeah, mango pudding. Like, yeah. Okay, so let's try this complimentary pudding. Me who love dessert. Mm, not bad. It's kind of creamy and um, sweet mango. I think even our kids would like it. I think Kareem, who likes mango, he would like it. He loves mango. <laughs> and Kenton is going in, so you know it's good. <laughs> Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Very like um, comforting. Was that the right term? Comforting, kind of homemade. Yeah. Um, comfort food. That's what I'm looking for. Comfort food. It's got real mango in there. Probably got condensed milk in there. Yep. So that's where we just got out of. Very nice. So we're back home and I'm actually editing a vlog. Haha, -ha, my office is starting to look pretty profesh, don't you think? I'll give you a tour some other day when I'm done. <laughs> but anyway, these are all of my, well, not all actually, a small portion of my medical books. Just want to say, no matter what happens in my life in the future, these will always be some beloved books of mine. But I'm about to take them out and put them on my bookcase because sometimes I still reference them for different reasons. Um, and we still 
haven't finished unpacking but really um, the mum number of boxes are less way less my bedroom is set again one day maybe I will do a room tour not sure um, but I'm sure you'll see them in the vlog anyway <laughs> you know I don't need to do a formal um, tour you'll see me in the and the room but what am I looking at this here is the drone from Khalid my son where we traded uh, I don't know what he wanted from me I think he wanted to borrow my camera or something and then he bought a drone and says I could have it to be honest I haven't used it um, I got to figure out how to use this and maybe upgrade the videos that you see yeah I really should we got this well this is a teddy bear which I've had before the World Trade Center uh, terrorist attack I've had this teddy bear or beanie bear and so this one is definitely very valuable um, you can see it has the twin towers on it um, yeah 